Hey y'all, time for another video. Today, what we're gonna do is a medium-ish haul. I went to Ollie's, that's what's in this bag, and Target, and got some great stuff. So, you know the drill. Gonna take the bags, move them out of the way, and just pick from them at random and show you all the dolly goodness I got hot. First, from Target, I got another display. Yay, 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 yay. Isn't this cool, y'all? I did another video where I had gotten another one of these that had a Hello Kitty in it, and this one has a cute Care Bear. It's the world's smallest. These are so, so cute. Probably gonna keep the sides of the box, even though I kept the other one because they're just so cute, and maybe do some cutouts. Here's the little thing, the little insert thing. That's the only reason I ask them if I can have them, and they always just either say like they don't care or they're just gonna throw it away or they act like they're annoyed I'm even bothering them about it but here is this cute little box it says Care Bear micro figures the tender heart bear which is this one aren't these like the perfect little size for our dollies like if they were collectors this is so cute I love this idea so I will probably be buying some of these eventually, but you know, getting them for free is super awesome. I love that. And you can just put it in like it's an actual collectible. Isn't that the cutest? And then it also has this comic book, Care Bears. Isn't this so cute? Bear facts. Love it, so adorable. Now I decided to do Target first because I didn't get as much stuff from there. I also got this. I wasn't gonna buy any of these, not really, because I didn't think they were worth the $10. But as I was getting ready to leave, they had a big display that was the actual display that the handbags go in, but most of them were shoes, like they had transferred it over to the shoe one. This was the only handbag one in there, and it was on an end cap, like I said, as I was leaving, and there was this little sticker that said Rainbow High Accessories, $2.99, and I went, are you kidding me? So I took the whole thing over, sapped all the shoes, the shoes rang up $9.99, but this was in the bottom at the back, and it rang up $2.99. So I got this, and I'm just gonna open it, with y'all to see what I got. And just do that, press on it and pop it and see what we get. Of course, it has the little red bag with the drawstrings, super, super cute, love that. But let's see, it feels flat, so it's probably, yeah, it's the fanny pack, which fanny packs aren't my favorite, but this is really nice. It's nicely made. It has an actual working zipper, which blows my mind on something this small, but I love it. And the embroidery across the front where it says sparkle, and it says sparkle, sparkle on this as well. And then all the buckles, it is really nice. And especially for $2.99, I think, it is definitely worth it way more than that $10 price tag so I got this and I'm super glad I did and that I found that so check your targets y'all you might be able to find them like I did for $2.99 and the only other thing I got from Target was this Ha, Tiara song. Now I know she's open, but my mom wanted to see what she was all about. So I deboxed her with my mom and I figured y'all wouldn't mind. So here she is. She was the last one that I didn't get. Mom got her for me and they were running a sale where if you bought one toy item, so I bought this separate. This I bought myself, mom bought me this. But if you bought one toy item, you got 25% off of the toy item. So with the discount, because it was 25% off, she was $29. So I didn't think that was bad at all. And mom said she'd get her for me, and she is. Now that I see her out of the box and stuff, she was my least favorite, but she's super pretty. So, you know, I'm not gonna go into a huge, a lot of detail about her, cause I know that lots of people have, and I have the other two that I can debox for you and give you my super, you know, detailed thing that I do in my opinions, but I love these boots. I love, love, love these. These are really nice. Her top and all these crystals, all these jewels, all these lovely sparkly rhinestones, I just, they're so cool. I love the way they did it. I love this little bolero jacket. I love that they have the like molded rings and the long fingernails and just look at her hair. Like she has box hair obviously because I haven't gotten to her yet because I just did this the other day with my mom. We went out, you know, so I haven't had time to fix it, but it is really, really pretty. Really, really pretty like lilac-y, silvery, just beautiful tones. I can't even describe all the tones that are in it, but I just love it. And I love her little tiara and her face. Ooh, 
really pretty face. Me and mom looked at them and this one had the best eyes. This one had different lips. We had two and we liked them both and then we decided that this one had prettier lips. So we got this one because I liked the way the lips look. So there is her and then here are her little outfit pieces. This is what I do. I told you guys that I cut off the little piece of the box and then the little name thing. It's in there too. It's just floating around. Oh, it's over here. And then I put the stuff back in like the comb and everything. All of her accessory pieces are really nicely made. Here are the shoes. Love the shoes. Love all this stuff. So yay, 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 yay. Next, we're gonna get on into the Ollie stuff I got. My mom had a coupon because she's part of the like, you know, club, whatever. We got 15% off everything we got from Ollie's, including the toys. And I grabbed these little fashion pack Barbie deals. This one was $2.99, but with the percent off, I'll like insert it when I do the editing and let you guys know what the actual price was. So I didn't pay $2.99, but $2.99 is not a bad deal. These are usually like five or six bucks at Walmart and Target. So thought that was a good deal. I mainly wanted it for the little like iPad, but I did really like the dress. I thought the check-in dress was pretty cute. The like over jacket, I can tell, you know, just from looking that it's like, really like cheapy done like it's just heat sealed and not very nicely sewn so i wasn't that interested in that even though it's pink and i do love pink mainly wanted this little ipad -y thing and the little dress so i thought that that would be cute to have for my dollies and I also grabbed this, I think behind here, cause you can't see for the sticker, it's a necklace. But a lot of the stuff in here I thought was really cute. This is what got me. The little lamb, I thought the lamb was super cute. And then the tickets, like you went to a carnival, loved that. And then I liked the bag that said weekend mode a lot and the little pretzel. And then this sent me over the top. I love movie things and anything related with that. So the little popcorn, love, love, love that. I think the glasses being pink are cute and then the little bracelet. And of course the cotton candy is adorable. Now this is my least favorite thing, probably this and the camera. I could have done without those, but this I can probably paint it and make it cuter because I have several of these, but this one just being all kind of like bright orange isn't my favorite. And it was only $2.99, so I thought it was worth it. You know, like I said, it was cheaper with the discount, but I thought it was a cool thing to have. So I grabbed it for little miniatures for my dolly. Now they had their big toy set up for Christmas. That's why they had so much stuff. And that's how I was able to score this. Hair adorables, hair amazing, fashion pack, 13 fabulous pieces. Look at this stuff. $7.99, again, like I said, I'm gonna put in what it actually ended up costing with the discount. This stuff is so, so cute. And I have a couple hair adorables. This is like the stuff in like illustration form on the back. This is so cute. I think this one's called Noah. Not sure, but super, super cute. Love to have little extra stuff. They aren't making like the hair adorables like this anymore. They're only making the budget ones. I just really wanted to have it. They had a lot of these and it was only this one though. Only this style, there was no other styles, but I just thought this would be cool to have for my other hair adorables. And maybe one day I'll thrift one that's naked and then I'll have a whole nice ensemble for it to wear. Next, I grabbed this and I had heard about these little bebops. It was $9.99, but of course, like I said, with the discount, it was less. Now we did, me and mom opened her and got her out. She is super cute. Look at her face. I can see where some people would probably think she's a little weird, but I liked her. Like I can take her out and show her to you guys. Hang on. Here she is out of the box. She doesn't have a lot of articulation, but I just thought she was cute and interesting. Look at her little like glass eyes. They're really pretty blue. And I like the painting that they did on her face. Really, really cute, like the markings around her mouth. Now she does have a little bit of something there, but I know I can get that off. And she was the only one they had in this style. Apparently there's four different styles and they only had this one of this girl and then four of another girl that looked more like, like a tiger or a cat. Now here's her little dress. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking about it. It's not sewn the best. Like this little thing is kind of wonka do up at the top here. And she only has like this kind of articulation, like up, down, in, out. But she does have knee articulation, like articulated knees, which I thought was funny. And these little shoes, those are pretty cute. Now this is velvet. And then this under here is that kind of funny, like crepe papery stuff that we don't care for. And so is this, these little things on the top. Like I said, they didn't sew it very well, but you know, no up, down, but she does do side, side. And the hair, 
isn't that nice, but it's not that bad either. It's kind of cute. It's not the best quality, but you know, she was only $10 and then, you know, with a discount, she was even less. I just thought she would be interesting to have and add to my collection. Now here on the box, it says she's made by Happy Line and it has this stuff on the bottom, like item number and stuff. If you want to look her up, but there's no barcode anywhere on this. Here is the rest of the box. The box is cool, so I'm probably gonna keep it. I like that it's like a coffin shape and all the cute like stuff on the inside and what it says. So I'm definitely gonna keep that. And then last, but certainly not least, I finally got a Mermaid's Mermaids. If you've been around my channel, you probably know I don't care for the fact, you know, that you can't use the legs and that they're stuck with this like mermaid tail thing. So that's why I never bought one. Her being 15 and then, like if you can see that, yeah, she was only $15, a ton of her, and this was the only one they had. They must have had like a hundred of her, like honestly. I went through a lot of them. You can kind of see her face. I'll debox her and like talk about her with y'all. She had a really pretty face to me, so that's why I grabbed this one, because I did look at about 15 or 20, and then when I saw this one, I really liked her eyes and her sparkles around her eyes and her eye makeup looked really pretty and so did her lips and there was just something about her face and her hair. I just really liked the way this combo looked. You know us doll collectors, how we are. We always have to look and something will just sing out to our dolly collector heart and say, yep, that's the one. So, yep, she's the one. Even though I really like that they have the like nice articulation on the arms and stuff, I'm gonna rebody her. So, any of y'all out there who have done it already, what body did you use? Help me out, tell me, because I'm definitely going to put her on a different body because she's just so pretty. I wanna be able to dress her and do things with her. And I don't feel like I can do that with the mermaid tail. And that's what I want to do with her so I'm definitely going to do a little hybriding like body swapping and check her out that way I got her and I'm super glad that I did you know I like all the stuff the guitars cool and like the jacket and all the like necklaces and the belt and all that stuff and I like the way the bodies are shaped I just don't like the fact that you can't dress them how you want and all that stuff I don't like molded on things I don't know it's just something about me and my collector heart it doesn't make me happy when they're stuck static they're like stuck in one thing she'd always be a mermaid that just bothers me. I don't know why. It just does. So if you haven't seen, here is the back of the box. Really pretty. Like I like all of them to be honest. Really like this one here. I don't know their names. This one is Riviera and I just know because it says it on the box. Of course I like this one because she's pink, pinky pink. This one too. She has a lot of pink and I like this one. It cracks me up. She has a bow in her hair. That's really pretty and I like the blue. They're all really pretty to me. There's nothing about them that I don't like except for the fact that they're stuck as mermaids. Yay for her. So glad I got to score her for so super cheap. Well, y'all, that is all for my Target and Ollie's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoy sharing with y'all, and I have to thank you for being with me and for watching. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy, and safe, having the best dolly day you can, and that all the good, great things that are in this life that can come to you, I really, truly hope they will. I have to say, great big, huge, 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 lovely subscriber love to all you wonderful lovely subscribers I can't tell you how much it means to me that y'all are so sweet and kind all the likes all the comments everything y'all are just so wonderful I can't tell you enough all the good words all about you thank you subscribers thank you for every little thing you do I really do appreciate it so so much <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, y'all. Come on, join us. Join our ever-expanding Great Big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built here because we do fun stuff. I'm fun and wacky. I do everything Dolly related that I can think of to make sure that you have fun while you're here. And I try to create a safe Dolly space where all of us Dolly collectors, regardless of what we love, like whatever in the Dolly world, can be safe and have a good time. So come along, join us. See what Dolly silliness and loveliness we get up to. Become part of our great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we've built here because we would love to have you. And everyone is always welcome here. Well, y'all, we did it. We made it through this medium-ish haul from Ollie's and Target. So you know what I'm going to say. Bye, y'all.